Welcome to my studio. I've traveled from the Big Apple to be here with you. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the most important elements in art, and that's shapes and edges. So the supplies we're going to need today are sheets of paper and a Sharpie marker. So we're gonna start with circles, just big round circle, a square, about two inches by two inches. Next is a triangle, a rectangle, about two inches by four inches. There's no need to really measure these, just sort of guesstimate in your mind. That's followed by a cylinder, and a cone. All these shapes can be used to make almost anything we want. First, I'm gonna use a circle, and then I'm gonna use a cylinder, and that's followed by a square, and under the square, I'm going to make a rectangle. And then next to the square, I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to make a cylinder. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That, then I'm going to make a cone. And then I'm going to make a circle. Now I have a basic shape. Can you guess what it is yet? It looks like something already. And some of you may have guessed. That's how important shapes are to our drawings. So now I'm going to make a, another smaller rectangle here. And I'm going to do a, a half circle here and another half circle here. Now we're going to add some other types of shapes a line, a rectangle, a smile, and now you can pretty much see what we have. We have a lady. And see how simple that is? Think in terms of shapes. It's really one of the first elements in drawing. Start seeing things in terms of shapes. Circles for heads, bodies and torsos or squares and triangles and rectangles. So let's do another one. This time we're gonna start with a circle, then we're gonna have a cone at the bottom of that circle. Then we're gonna make a large square. And underneath, we're gonna make another square. And then on the left-hand side, we're gonna make a cylinder. And then the right-hand side, cylinder. Then we're going to make wider cylinder. Sometimes you can edit your shapes. You don't always have to do the entire shape. This time we're going to do a quarter circle and that should look like boots. Now we're going to add the arms. We're going to do something different this time. We're not going to draw on the outside of the square. We're going to draw on the inside of the square and we're going to have this kid folding their arms. We're gonna add ears, which is a half circle on each side. And then we're gonna add a smile, and then nose, an eye, an eye, a hat. Oh, look at that, it's really just a elongated or flattened circle, right? A kid and a hat. Now I'd like to share with you an example to show you how important the edge is, because really the edge defines the shape. What I've done is I've taken my Sharpie marker and I filled in this rectangle. 
I'm gonna take out this stencil that I've cut out and I'm gonna place it over the rectangle. You can see the person pops out. I haven't changed the rectangle. All I did was change the edge of the rectangle. And now we have a person just by changing the edges. And that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you next time on Young at Art.